Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing a haul video and I was actually going to hold off and wait for, I had placed an order for e.l.f. which some of you might be surprised because I I don't order from e.l.f. unless it's a really big seal and they just happen to have some sort of secret sale, 40% off, so a lot of the things that I wanted have been out of stock. They're back, they were back in stock, so I placed an order, and I'm just going to do a separate video for that because I just feel like I ordered enough things to do a separate video, so I'm excited about that. But I'm going to be doing, I'm going to try to keep this quick because I know I tend to ramble. Uh, so I'm going to do a, a haul video, a collective random haul video, and the first thing I'm going to show you is this really cute t-shirt from my sister. She got this at JCPenney's. And it's just a regular great t-shirt and it says we say moi which means in french i mean which this is french and in english it means yes it's me and i just love um i just love this t-shirt i think it's really cute and simple uh i like french words on t-shirts and i know what that one means there's some shirts like i see at forever 21 where i have to google it or something because i'm like what does that mean exactly uh, she also got me, this is an earbud case. It's so cute. It's from eBay. So the writing on here, it's cute, but it says little Amelie, childhood is like, like a boat filled with candy, full of toys, full of laughs, laughter, and full of happiness. That's kind of cute. So you put your earbuds in here. You can take this part out, but I thought I could see other possibilities for this. Uh, it's just really really cute and I used to look like that what Asian kid did not have a bowl haircut and glasses my glasses were red though and uh, Next is five below and I picked this up five below is my new favorite store I picked I picked up the sleep mask. It's in the shape of a fox and I love the eyelashes and the polka dot bow and this is actually um, you could feel it. It's not real fur, but you could feel it. It's not matted down. And there was one in the shape of a cat that I got my sister. And it's just so cute. I thought a lot of you would like this. And it's just so adorable. I can't get over how cute that is. Uh, I also got, this is, it was, what's it A Precision Beauty so, uh, tweezer. So you get one pointed and one slanted. And I'm sorry. I'm not prepared for this video. Uh, well, actually, that's not true. I tried to film this several times, but I just kept getting tongue-tied, and I, I don't know if some of you can tell, but I'm still sick. And so, anyway, they look like this. They're so cute. I love the polka dots, and they actually look pretty good. I was hesitant to buy them, but they looked like they were going to be... I don't know. They look like they were gonna. They're gonna work. So I'll let you get back. I'll get back to you on that. And then I got a bunch of City Color products, and that's why I started this obsession with Five Below. I was watching Emily Noel's video mostly, and she was talking about City Color matte blushes, and they looked incredible. So I want. I was on the hunt for them. I've been to several. I have a lot in my area. But I haven't found the matte blushes. I found several other things. And one of them that I found a while ago, this is the Mosaic Blush in Coral Glow. And it's beautiful. I have it on now. And I had said that this is a perfect color for transitioning because if you use more of the pink, you get this really rich pink color. But if you swirl it around, you get a lighter color. And this is just beautiful. And there is shimmer um in the pink and the lighter the lightest color here but the orange is matte it's just really really pretty and then oh, let me i know i have a napkin here somewhere okay let's wipe wipe off this stuff okay uh next i'm not gonna open this but this is the flawless finish mineral powder and i got the one in natural and i don't need any more face powders i'm trying to finish a lot of those up but i just thought that this looked really nice and I was so impressed with the blush that I uh, I find myself gravitating towards the City Colors face products, but not the eyeshadow or the, or, or the lip products. Um, I just find myself really liking uh, the face the way that they look. So hopefully this will work out. Well, I guess I don't have to say that, right? I hope all these products work out, but... Um, that one just looks really nice. And then this is the Sunlight Trio Blush Highlight and Bronzer. And I thought this looks so beautiful. It's Collection 1. And uh, 
out. So this is what it looks like. Just so, so pretty. Let me swatch them for you. So that's how the swatch is on my finger. And then, so it's all shimmer, except the middle one is kind of satin. Uh, oh, that bronzer looks bad. Okay. So that blush is really light. Some of you with richer skin tones, it might not work out, but this and this will um, will show up on anybody. They're, these two are beautiful. This one might be a little too light, although I think it, I could make it work for me, but I think this would also be a really good eyeshadow look. So that's great. If you're traveling, you could just bring this and it, you could use it for your eyes and your face. Uh, then I had mentioned the mosaic blush I got a while back. I liked it so much that I got this one, and this one is all matte, so that's really nice if you you like matte blushes, and I find, so you have another pink, kind of like a brown pink, and then this light pink. When you mix it all together, you get this really pretty dusty rose color, that's, so, that's on my pinky, and then... Yeah, it's gorgeous. I feel like that's going to be a really nice color for fall, as it's going to be fall pretty soon. So I'm excited to try this one. And then the last face product. I told you, I was only interested in the face products. I guess I should try out other things. Let me know if you guys have tried City Color products uh, besides the face products and which ones you would recommend to me and which ones I should avoid. So this is, it just says blush and it's in the color. It says Flower Blush Blossom. And they call it flower, I guess, because, oh, it's, <laughs> there's, a, I'm sorry, I think it was just swirls, but they're actually like roses, and I think it's all roses. Anyway, these are all matte, and then they have these two things, which I don't know if that's an overlay. I think it might be just an overspray, overspray, because I'm just touching it now, yeah. So it was rubbing off. I don't know why they do that. It's cause I think it's kind of silly. Okay, so these are all matte. And, you know, my purpose in looking for city colors was to find just matte blushes. But I think that these, I might fix my craving for the blushes. So this is, I'm going to try to swatch all the colors. So this is this one. And then up here. And then right over here. These two, I think, are pretty similar. Uh, and then this last one, I'm pretty excited about. So gorgeous. I think these are all pretty and then probably mixed together. Let me mix them together. Let's see what that looks like. So there you go. You get a really nice kind of mix of pink and coral and that dark pink is gorgeous. I'm glad that's the biggest one. I have one item from Whole Foods. This is the Pacifica Persian Rose Perfume and I was in the, of course, I was in the makeup section of Whole Foods and I was passing by this, the perfume and candle section, and I smelled something that smells so good. And I think I narrowed it down to the right product. Um, it was this perfume, and it's just so, I love Pacifica's packaging. I think this is gorgeous. And then the bottle itself, I just, so simple but beautiful. And if you like rose scents, this smells like rose for sure. It's beautiful, and I just was really attracted to it. And then let's move on to Bed Bath and Beyond. Okay, so I needed a shower cap. I've been trying not to wash my hair every day. Although for me, it's a hard lesson to... Um, well, it's not a lesson, but it's just something hard for me to do. It's like when I'm in the shower, I want to wash my hair um, as well as everything else. But it's just, I just have to get it through my head. And I, I had a shower cap, but I tried it on the other day and I don't know what happened, but it stretched out like it would fit somebody with the head this big. So I got this one. It's called the Diva Shower Cap and it's from the Fashionista collection. And I thought this would be perfect. It has makeup on there and purses and shoes. So um, let me just take it out to show you guys. I've never bought a shower cap before because I always wash my hair. I always used to wash my hair every day. But look how cute this is. So I'm excited to wear that. Uh, then I got this. This was on clearance. This is the CoverGirl eyeshadow in purple pop. I don't have that many CoverGirl eyeshadows. And I thought this looked really, really pretty. So let me swatch it for you. It's satin finish. And I think I have a color, Maybelline color tattoo that this would look really nice with, go really nicely with. 
Um, not as pigmented as I would like. It's definitely not looking like that, but I think all over something it would look really, really pretty. Uh, I wanted to get a white nail polish, so I got because I like this uh type of nail polish. I got the Revlon uh Color Stay Color Stay Gel MV in Sure Thing. Okay, and then I have let's see Wegmans. What did I get from Wegmans? Oh, okay, yeah. So I I did the update about the not your mother's uh, hairspray that was a total fail. So I wanted to try. This is the L'Oreal Elnet satin, and I've heard so many people talk about Elnet that I want to try. But I want to try a small size, and I can't wait to use this because I've been using this is the Garnier Fructi style surf hair, just kind of not as hairspray, but just to keep the flyaways away, and it works. But I want to have something like this to try, and then. Oh, I got, I've been looking for this NYX lip product for so long. This is, it's always out. This is a NYX soft lip cream, soft matte lip cream, which I have the one in, I think it's called Milan. And I don't really like that one, but uh, I really want to try this color. I love these dark colors. If this doesn't work out, then I won't get it anymore. That's just looking for punishment. Uh, this one is in Copenhagen. Look how dark that is. Kind of matches my nail polish, which needs to be redone uh, but I was just playing around with that color but this is gorgeous I wanted to try this and I saw I think it's Transylvania it's a little bit darker than that if I like that this one then I will get that one and then since I love the the Revlon the top coat they have top different top coats I love the holographic one uh, so I thought I would try this matte Pearl glaze so it looks like this and I thought that was such an interesting concept that um, I picked it up because I like the other one so much hopefully that works out and then I think I just have clothes left and I you know I'll say that for last I saw this dress a while ago this is from Macy's I saw this dress a while ago and I didn't get it but I saw it again and I was like you know what I know it's a little bit different but I really like the way that it looks and for my new job it's really hot in the building and um, dresses I think is the best way to go and this one seems really breathable and lightweight it's this dress right here and I didn't realize what it was at first I just just thought it was kind of like different shapes and designs but it's a giraffes I don't know what I was looking at but from far away you can't really tell I feel like but I love the shape I think it's really flattering and it's sleeveless which uh, you're allowed to wear sleeveless at that the place that I work it's a school um but I just thought this was really really it's you know it's the 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 shape is flattering but also the the design on here I feel like the print is makes it flattering as well Oh, so I know some of you are like, oh, giraffes? I don't know. And then I saw this kimono. I haven't bought as many kimonos as I did, obviously. Like, I am obsessed, obsessed with kimonos. Uh, but this one, it's really long. Uh, but I just fell in love with the print. And if I could get this, the right... Okay, here we go. Uh, so this is by the brand Say What. And then that... I'm sorry, the giraffe, the giraffe dress is... Alfani. So this is the say what it's this is from the junior section, but I just thought this print was gorgeous. I absolutely love it and it's really really long. Look how long this is. <laughs> so I got that and then I I've been wanting one of those kind of boho chic hats and what I mean by that is a hat like a hat like this and I thought that the flowers on here were so cute i love that addition i like this color and i like that the brim is not so big that it's out to here it looks great that those that size looks great on some people but i feel like for me kind of swallows up my head and this is the nine west so i found this i was looking for the hue leggings like the liquid leggings um but i couldn't find it but i saw this hat and i fell in love with it now i'll be the first one to say that I'm not the, I don't look the best in hats, but I've always wanted a hat like this, and I felt like this, the brim was the right size, I love the flowers, and I just, 
I don't know, I really like it. Please tell me how to wear this. Should I wear it like with this up here? Or do I wear it like this or like that? I don't know. I'm not, I only have one hat and it's that one right there. It's the straw hat. So I really like this and I think it's going to be, again, I've been mentioning fall. Fall is probably my one of my favorites, especially when it starts to get a little bit colder. Uh, fall is one of my favorite seasons. And I thought this hat would be perfect. So I'm really excited to get this at nine, um, nine West. You get this at Macy's. Uh, they had, I think, a couple of colors. Uh, don't quote me on it, but I love that one. So that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I can't wait to, I know I just did this haul, but I can't wait to do my elf haul. I've been wanting some, like, I got a lot of brushes. I've been wanting some of their brushes, their new brushes that they came out with, especially for contouring. So stay, stay tuned for that. And I just, again, I want to thank you for your support. And I, um, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.